Okay, uh, Cameron, can you please tell us uh, how did you get here? I mean, is it your first time here on Sony Head? Yes, yeah, my first time. Uh, my friend Susan Shapley, who's a presenter as well, uh, she put me here, or I guess recommended me. And then, uh, yeah, it was a call out of the blue, but really nice call. Uh, can you please tell us a bit uh, about your lecture? What was it about? And, uh, what is the main subject you are studying? Yeah, the lecture was about monitoring uh, conflict from satellites, basically. So I was mainly focused on Aleppo, um, and I was trying to give an overview of different satellite image-based techniques to understand the buildup of the Syrian civil war with the drought, and then also uh, the damage that has occurred just within Aleppo during the civil war. So using open access, several hundred images to kind of characterize month by month the damage within the city. Talking about the uh, theme of this year here, so I get the yeah. of being right. Uh, how do you, can you uh, not identify, but how does it relate to what you are studying, like what you are working on? Do you think it's uh, the no the notion of the noise of being? Yeah. Um, yeah, I I've been trying to think about that, you know, since this invitation, and I've thought a bit about how a lot of the the techniques that I was using in the presentation to make those make those maps of change um, that kind of there's a, a couple of things happening there the first is that people in my field remote sensing scientists uh, don't tend to make analyses like this and so these are these are kind of background things that are happening in the world very pressing humanitarian needs but they're not I, I don't feel like people I don't feel like my discipline is very well represented in pursuing uh, solutions or even just monitoring documenting the problems so in that sense these are background these are noise issues everyone is aware of them they're there but that's not like what we're really after right um, the other thing uh, that I, another connection would be the actual signal itself, the change in data, uh, the, the amount of light reflected at different parts of the city that the satellite measures. That itself is so small that it itself could be characterized as noise. In fact, most urban areas, if you, if you traced them over a given year, it would be very small, very small fluctuations. And that subtle signal is what I was trying to tease out, and that 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 sorry that subtle noise became my signal basically. So I was trying to find areas where there's a big deviation away from that typical background variation. So yeah, a couple of different ways maybe. Yeah, and what do you think about um, how would you how the how far would you go like in the in five years, do you think uh, that you would still be searching in this kind of direction? Or oh. Um, it's always changing and, uh, yeah. Yeah, my, my, the things I'm most interested in are actually getting deeper into conflict studies and trying to actually develop theories of how different populations respond to conflict. So in Syria, for example, trying to engage not just the damage in, in Aleppo, but also agricultural condition, um, the threat of violence. Uh, we have several studies that are kind of uh, concurrent right now, uh, some of which are, one of which is in northeastern Nigeria in Boko Haram, uh, several of which are in Syria, and trying to actually develop analytical frameworks for understanding how people respond to these threats, indirect threats of violence, whether they are displaced, whether they decide to leave, whether they decide to stay, and why do they decide to stay. Syria itself is is kind of a no man's land in terms of like, it's very dangerous for journalists, it's very dangerous for humanitarian rights groups. So while there is some data collection and understanding of like on the ground situations, it's a lot of it's just remote, or a lot of it is kind of crowdsourced anonymously, because it's too dangerous to do it non-anonymously. Um, so we're left with an incomplete picture and we're trying to better understand how people respond to these, you know, world-changing events that are happening within their country.